Hi, Charles is a Book Sage here, and this is part two of my book haul. This is all physical books. Um, I thought I had filmed this uh, when I filmed the original part of ebooks and um, Audible and all those things, but I didn't actually end up recording this part. It cut off right as I was starting the physical book, so I figured why not uh, sit down again and finally redo this. And now, of course, I did have to go out and buy more physical books because, I mean, why not? It was like a sign, right? I mean, you gotta go out and buy more books. But anyway, let's get this underway real quick, because there's a bunch. First up is Nettie Okorafor's Broken Places and Outer Spaces, Finding Creativity in the Unexpected. This is an autobiographical slice of a part of her life, I believe. Um, Post-surgery, post she woke up um, paralyzed. And it's, I think, in recuperating is when she began to transition from what she expected she was going to do for a living to a storyteller. So I'm really looking forward to it. It's a short little thing. I believe it's published by TED Books, so I'm wondering. I think it might have been a TED Talk at some point, and now it's in book form. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. Nettie Okorafor is just an absolutely outstanding writer, so it would be interesting to read her writing about herself. Cool. And then... Um, a few years back, my older brother gave me Auntie Mame by Patrick Dennis, the book that the movie with Rosalind Russell is based on. It's one of my all-time favorite movies. And the book was just even more enjoyable than the movie. And I actually spent last Christmas with my mom and my older brother. Uh, and I saw my younger brother as well, but I was staying with them. And in just conversation, I was talking about this channel and the fact that I did read that and mentioned it, and I think I might have covered it in one of my readathon vlogs. And just at the spur of the moment, he reached into his um, dresser and pulled out this one, Around the World with Andy Mame. So the sequel, the second book, continuing more of her escapades. So I'm really looking forward to diving into this at some point, because uh, it's just a lot of fun. And for all those like holiday time read-alongs that go on or readathons where you need a book with the red on the cover, perfect choice. <laughs> I think that's um, how the first one ended up in um, me reading it that particular like November or December. It was in a readathon and it called for a red cover. Anyway, totally digressing. Uh, next up is Chasing Beauty in Italy by Rebecca Butler. This is a book mainly of photography. Um, her and her husband, who is now uh, deceased, unfortunately, he died suddenly about a year ago. Um, this is a book she put together of their time in Italy. They spent many, many trips apparently going overseas over the past 20 years. And these are a lot of the film uh, pictures that they took. So it's pictures of Italy and quotes from authors and all different things. It, I think it focuses particularly on Rome as well. So you get to see pictures of what Rome looked like over the past like 20 years or so. Um, but since someone, as I'm n newly into photography, it was something that I figured I wanted to get and take a look at. Um, she also is big, big art fan. She, um, on her Twitter um, page, she shares a lot of artwork from famous paintings and stuff. As a photographer or budding photographer, it was um, there's lots of cool little snippets of Rome in here in particular. Now, one of the authors for me that's particularly when it comes to fantasy is an automatic buy is Stephen R. Donaldson. I've talked about his um, Chronicles of Thomas Covenant books many times on my channel here, and he has a current fantasy series called The Great God's War, and this is The War Within, which is the second book in the series. I own the first one in hardcover uh, as well. It's in storage in New York. 99% of all my books are in storage in New York. Um, I moved from New York down to Florida last year, and most of what I own is still up there in storage because apparently it's ex insanely expensive now to get your stuff moved from New York to Florida. It's like two or three grand just to have a small truck of stuff. So my books are currently mostly all in my bookcases and everything are in storage. So, and eventually, hopefully, I'll have the money to get them out of storage and back down here. But it's like two or three grand or something to do, which is crazy. But anyway, totally digress. Um, beautiful cover, beautiful artwork. 
simple, but um, I don't know really what it's about at all. But again, Donaldson writing fantasy, it's automatic buy and automatic buy in hardcover. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna collect this series and then once the last book is published, I'll then sit down and I'll read the whole thing. That's probably what's gonna happen. And a book that I have been wanting since it came out, this was also a Christmas gift from my brother and my mother. And that is of course, Fire and Blood. A pretty spectacular. Um, I'm currently doing that catch up GOT um, reread of A Song of Ice and Fire right now. We're on um, A Feast for Crows. And then starting next month, it's reading Dance of Dragons over two months. And then once I'm done with that, besides all the other things I'm going to start reading, um, I'm going to finally dive into this whole thing. I've skimmed it, and I know bits and pieces of part of the lore, particularly of the Targaryen house but I haven't had a chance to sit down and read the entire thing. So really looking forward to that. Lots of really cool artwork in here as well. Great uh, illustrations. So, oh yes. Now, um, I mentioned that there were books that I hadn't owned when I first tried to film this and I figured I went out and bought some. Uh, it's just I've, one, been wanting a new copy of these books in general, and two, um, they put a new edition out of the first book, and the cover was just so spectacular. I was like, man, I really want that, but I want the whole series in that kind of design. And lo and behold, they ended up issuing the rest of them. So I was like, okay, I got to get them. So I was going to get them at Barnes & Noble, but I got them... I actually ended up ordering them from Amazon because I got them cheaper on Amazon, a lot cheaper for some reason. One of them I think might have been on sale on Amazon or something, I'm not sure. But it, it was a decent amount of savings, so I waited the two days for it to show up. Though, actually, the first book I did buy at Barnes & Noble, it was the remaining five that I bought on Amazon. And that is, of course, the absolutely spectacular Doom series by Frank Herbert. Now, I have read the first four of these. Dune, Dune Messiah, Children of Dune, and God Emperor of Dune. I have yet to read Heretics of Dune and Chapter House Dune. Um, I'm planning on, at some point, uh, starting over with Dune and rereading the first four books and then finishing off the last two. I really look, want to finish this series. and. I don't know if I'll ever read the ones by his son. From what I hear, they're kind of really just not good. So, but to each of their own. Uh, I think they're all prequels as well. But I mean, these are just spectacular covers. I mean, just gorgeous, gorgeous covers. Each one of these. I mean, it's an interesting design. Um, but just, I mean, how could you, if you're a fan of Dune, how could you not want? this particular set of covers. I mean, they're really, really cool. And I'm especially looking forward to rereading Dune Messiah. I know a lot of people who are huge fans of Dune crap all over this book, but I remember absolutely loving this book. I'm really looking forward to reading it again, because I've only ever, I think I've read Dune twice, but the other three that I've read, I've only read once. So, and of course, Dune, this one is in the store was a trade paperback, I guess, which is all right. It is the main one. But again, just how could you pass that cover up? I just couldn't. Okay. Now, next up is, and I'm going to reach for it behind the camera, are a set of books that I have been dying to get. This, again, was another generous Christmas gift from my brother and my and my mom and I'm just going to reach around the, the uh, <laughs> camera to get them. It is the illustrated Harry Potter books. Chamber Sorcerer's Stone and oh, just yeah I have been just dying for these and it was one of those I really want it but you know there's so many more important things to spend my money on so the fact that they got this for me and the Fire and Blood book was just, you know, very, very, very generous for them. And, ah, uh, yes. 
Prisoner of Azkaban, still my favorite of the books. Really, really cool stuff. Oh. And last, but certainly not least, um, if for those of you who may not be aware, I have been, I was rereading the Harry Potter books for the very first time and doing a chapter by chapter breakdown of each book. And I did the first three completely and I'm early on to um, Goblet of Fire. And then that was before I moved and my schedule's been crazy. But I've been meaning to get back and continuing that series to work my way through Goblet of Fire and then the last um, three books. Um, but as I mentioned, all my books are in storage and I know eventually I'm gonna get um, the Potter series in ebook and I'll eventually get it probably on Audible. Um, but for this reread, I just, it needs to be a book. That Harry Potter books, for some reason, they just need to be physical books. And um, I realized I needed to go out and get another set because my hardcovers are all in storage. So I've been wanting this, this um, illustrated edition anniversary edition I guess for quite a while now so yeah so I'm really really looking forward really really looking forward to um, resuming this series I'm probably gonna go back and reread the chapters of a goblet of fire that I've already read and reviewed on my channel and probably go back and um, spot check watching my playlist of that series so I can kind of get back into the, the mental groove of it. Um, but I'm really looking forward to it. And probably after BookNet Fest, um, I will sit down and work this in the back into my schedule so it can get back to being a, hopefully back to being a regular weekly series for me. But that is my physical book haul. And um, lots of fun stuff, lots of Harry Potter stuff, of course. I mean, I'm a sci-fi and fantasy reader, so that's kind of given. Um, but yeah, just, again, just really, really cool covers. I mean, most of these just have really spectacular <laughs> book covers. Um, but just a side note. And that's it. Um, I did mention I am going to be at BookNet Fest. I will see those of you who are going to be there. I'll see you there. I'm looking forward to meeting people I've interacted with, even though my interaction lately has been spotty because of work. I'm really, really looking forward to um, getting up there to Orlando and saying hello to everybody. Uh, so I think I will wrap it up here. Um, I am Charles's Book Sage. Happy reading. <laughs>